An $851,000 heist in the basement of the Daily News building looked like an inside job, and State Welfare Inspector General has harsh words for New York City's Welfare Department. This is Lester Smith reporting. Next news as it happens. Next scheduled news, 11 o'clock, over WOR Radio 710, the talk of New York. Okay. That new shop toy. Let's see what we got. Okay, here's my new K-Moon FY6800 signal generator. So uh, I opened up the box, I pulled all the goodies out. We've got the power cord. This is a software cable. It looks like it's got, uh, let's see, we've got connectors in here. The only thing is, is that I did uh, contact the seller about this. There's software that you could use to interchange between uh, this and a PC. Unfortunately, since I have an Apple PC next to my bench, it ain't gonna work, but it's okay. Nevertheless, I have it. I've got, there's a, B, B, uh, what is this? Oh, it's a BNC uh, connector cord here. And uh, some other cords, I guess. These would just go into the. Uh, well, actually, you could you could actually use this uh, as a frequency counter too as well. So we got all the cords and everything here. Here's the connectors for the. Uh, there's two channels here and here. Whoop! Don't use my finger. One here, one here, and you can actually hook something in here and then use it as a frequency counter. However. I'm a little disappointed with one thing. Now, I know I didn't pay much for this, uh, but the only thing is, is that there's no manual. <laughs> so it's like, well, we're going to have to kind of try to figure this thing out. So, well, let me put power to it and let's see what it looks like. Okay, operator error on my part. <laughs> there's a power switch on the back that I forgot to turn on. Really nice, nice small display, and it shows here we're using a sine wave currently. It shows the frequency, uh, the amplification, offset duty cycle, and phase. It's really nice. So you can do this to either or, or, or channels, I, I assume. Let me see what happens if I push this in again. Oh, just goes right out. Neat. Okay, so we're on frequency right now. You probably could change this. Oh, okay. You can change the frequency this way. Okay, and then you can use these arrow keys. There's arrow keys here that you can use to move this. If you look carefully here, you can see the number right here moving around as I move this cursor. That's pretty nice. Uh, the amplification. I guess that kind of works the same way with all these settings here. You can just use these cursors and set it for one way or another here. Okay. Now I will share with you that this is something that I'm going to have to play with a little bit. I may have to uh, let me break out a radio and see if this is actually generating, generating a signal here. This is actually pretty nice. I like this. What I like about it is it's small and it's lightweight and a small package. So if I have to take this with me somewhere, I can do that. All right, so let me, uh, let me hook up uh, some stuff and see what it does.
Right now I've got the generator set at 455 kc as you can see on the display and it's even got a nice little tone. So that'll be kind of handy. I'm going to tune up uh, some AM radios. And here in the back there's some more uh, stuff. Here was the USB connector. Let me get my pointer again. USB pointer right here. This is the TTL output array here. And then you can do, uh, here's the input for triggering FSK, ASK, PSK. Uh, this is uh, volts in for 5 volts. Sink in, sink out on the bottom. And then, of course, the power cord goes here, and then this is the on off switch. And it looks pretty accurate. Right now, I'm using uh, 5 volts. You can see that it's got the sine wave here. Got the sine wave here on the display. Got the sine wave on the scope. And as I change, let me go to amplifier. Right now I'm using 5 volts. 4, 3, 2. And that's pretty good because you can see this in 1 volt on the scope. I've got 1 volt graduation so it's pretty pretty darn close. So I bring this back up. 3, that's 5, 6, 7. Pretty much the full scale. So, looks pretty good. Even showing a triangle. I just keep changing the wave here. You can see it display both on here and then on the scope. That is nice. It gives you a lot of different uh, choices here. That's AM, FM. I guess you could even use a thumb wheel to change this too. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> I forgot you could do this with this scope. That's just so funny. This HP scope. You can do it with a couple of different HP scopes, actually. Play Tetris. Anyway. Got my K-Moon FY6800. New toy in the shop. And you know what the nicest thing is? is this thing doesn't weigh anything. It's uber light. So, was it worth the $107? I'd say yes. So, take care, everybody. Bye.